Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Eli and welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add plugins to your Pro Tools session using the PreSonus Fader Point 8. As you guys know, a couple weeks ago, I added the PreSonus Fader Point 8 to my setup. And last week, I dropped a video on that. If you have not seen that video, go ahead and check it out. And since I added this new piece of gear to my setup, I've been trying to find out if it's actually possible to do a full mix using just the Fader Port 8 without touching my keyboard and mouse. And I've been watching a lot of videos and reading the manual. And so far I have not found anything that indicated that that is indeed possible. Because one of the biggest part of mixing in the box is that you have to add plugins. You don't have the physical hardware that you can just turn to to add plugins. You need your mouse so you can actually access your plugin list so you can add plugins into your session. But with the PreSonus Fader Point 8, is it actually possible? We're about to find out. And before we get into this video, make sure to drop a like and comment down below to show your support to this channel. And if you're new, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notifications for more videos like this. Right now, I currently have a Pro Tools session open for a beat that I've been working on, and I'm gonna use that session to show you guys how you can add plugins into your session. From what I read from the manual, you can actually replace a plugin that you already had in your session for Pro Tools using the Fader Port 8. And I figured if that's actually possible, then you should be able to actually add a plugin that was not already part of your session. So is it actually possible to add plugins to your session using the PreSonus Fader Port 8. Well, let's find out together, huh? When mixing in Pro Tools and you wanna edit plugins using the Fader Port 8, there's four things that you need to keep in mind. The first one is that you only have access to the first four channel strips. The second thing that you need to keep in mind is that when you do actually go into plugin edit mode, it will pull up the last plugin that you actually had open. The third thing to keep in mind is that when you are editing plugins that actually have layers like a channel strip, you have to click on the different layers to be able to see them on your screen. And the last thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you wanna have full access to your plugin list and be able to pull in and out any plugin that you like, you need to have your plugins arranged in list view. With all that said, let's just jump in and see how you can add a plugin to your session using the Fatal Port 8. As you can see on the screen right now, I have the Pro Tools session open and my Fatal Port is ready to go. Right now, what you're looking at is the track view on the Fatal Port, right? So if I wanna add a plugin to my session, the first thing you need to do is hit that edit plugin button on the Fatal Port. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see on the screen, basically nothing changed, but on the Fatal Port, all the faders just go to the starting position. Right now, I already have the Waves SSL e channel open. If you didn't already have a plugin open, the way to bring that up, you'd need to hit VCA, which would hide or show your plugin. And like I said before, when you go into plugin edit mode, it will pull up the last plugin that you already had, the last plugin that you've been working with. Now, if that plugin doesn't happen to be on the track that you wanna edit, then you need to switch track. The way to get it to the track that you wanna use, you have to hit shift and select that track. I just wanna uh, edit my piano track, right? And that is track number six on my session. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna hit shift again to go back into my plugin edit view. Now, once I'm in the plugin edit view, it on the scribble strips it shows me the list of the plugins that i have available for that specific track and as you can see i only have one plugin on that track right now it's the expand plugin for my piano sound but i don't want to mess with that i'm going to go ahead and add a compressor into this um, track okay so looking at the screen you can see that i have the expand and insert A. I don't wanna mess with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and select insert B. And to do that on the fade report, you just select the second channel strip, right? That brings us to insert B. And since insert B doesn't have anything in it, there is no plugin on this track, right? Now to add a plugin, what I need to do, I'm gonna hit on blank. 
and while that button is flashing I can scroll until I find the compressor that I want and let's add the CLA2A right now CLA2A is it's currently displayed on my insert B channel strip on my fatal port now there's three ways that I can bring this plugin up into my session the first way is to just hit that select button on slot b or i can hit i can push down on the pen knob and the last way is to hit on link now the first two ways they work but they actually have a little bit more work that you need to do and we want to avoid doing that so we're just going to hit on link and that brings the plugin in once you bring the plugin in it actually brings you back to the plugin list view for that specific channel and to be able to edit that plugin now you just need to hit on select again and now all the parameters for that plugin is routed to my fader port a so when i move on a uh, fader you can see that i am actually changing something right there now if you had a plugin that had multiple parameters that you need to adjust that is not all displayed on the screen right now that is not all displayed on the fader port right now the way to access that is by turning the knob for the pen knob and when you do that it just shows you all the other parameters that you have available and that is how you add a plugin and to remove the plugin it's basically the reverse right so i just need to push down the pen knob when i do that it brings me back to the list view right under list view i'm gonna select the plugin that i want to get rid of and i'm gonna push down the pen knob again and then i'll hit on link now i can go ahead and scroll all the way to the left until i see no plugin in my scribble strip and hit link again and that plugin is gone and that ladies and gentlemen is how you add or remove a plugin into your session and that's all i got for you guys today hope you enjoyed this video if you did drop a like and comment down below to show your support to this channel and if you're new don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification for more videos like this and i will see you next time on the next video